All right, so I'm on special location in Washington, D.C. I came up here to do some shooting, came up here to do some dashing, and in the meantime, I figured I would shoot a couple of videos like I always do when I'm out of town. But this is the one thing about being an independent contractor versus being an employee. As an independent contractor, you work for yourself. So you get tax breaks that employees would not get. Their companies would have to pay for their hotel rooms. Well, mine will be a tax break. The mileage while I'm up here, tax break. My meals, tax break. And that is why we are ICG, independent gang, all day. Riding through my city with that tax bag. Thank you, Bentley. What up, it's your boy Bentley Coop on location, Washington, DC. The one-stop shop for tips, tricks, and strategies to help you dominate with DoorDash. Before I start the video, as usual, this channel is sponsored by Cover. Cover offers portable benefits for gig economy workers, just like you and me, not just DoorDash, Grubhub, Uber Eats, and Postmates. They look out for things like hospitalization, deactivation, and situations where your car is being repaired by collision. DoorDash has made some changes inside of the Dash app to help keep the restaurants more accountable for the one thing that customers want to hold us accountable for, and that's being late. It never fails. You take an order from BW3s, Popeyes, or maybe even Wingstop. You sit, you do your due diligence, and you wait, but it always takes them forever to do nothing. And then once you drop the order off, the customer always rates who? Not the restaurant, us. If you haven't seen by now, inside of the Dash app is an entirely new section. And in that section, it says, are you waiting for your order? Can you help us out to speed up orders? When you click this, you will see that there are a couple of different options that you can choose from. Originally, I was thinking that they were going to use this information to try to speed up the delivery times. But when we take a look at it, all of the selections are actually geared towards the process at the restaurant and not necessarily something that the dasher might have done. So that is a definite plus. Customers are becoming more and more annoyed with the fact that their food is being late. And the one thing that doesn't help their patients any is the fact that they can actually watch us through the app. We can see through lateness deactivations that DoorDash has a renewed focus for actually getting the food to the customer on time. So it only makes sense that they would start to squeeze from the other end. So many times that we are overlooked and we have no clear path to actually pick up the food. I wanted to believe again, that this would have restaurants give us the respect that we deserve, but if nothing more, then this will put the respect on what it needs to be. And that's completing the task, which will help us to get in and out. Somebody was blowing a horn, so everybody just started screaming with him. It's my uncle right here, ex-Marine, you know what I'm saying? 23 years of service, still gets up every morning, comes out, does his exercise, grizzly. Restaurants with tablets have the ability to set their availability and the expected time for pickup. But even with that expectation being set, restaurants that run late not only cost us bad ratings, but also cost us customers as well. My general rule of thumb is not to wait more than 10 minutes past my actual pickup time. And another two rules that I always keep in mind is I always check in when I get there to make sure that they know what I'm there for and to make sure that they've started the order. Because if they haven't started the order, more than likely I'm going to go ahead and unassign altogether. You should actually see this inside of your app. And if the customer is going to hold us responsible for being late and DoorDash is going to give us the option to hold restaurants responsible, then we should do that accordingly. So make sure that you're using this feature inside of the app so that we can get restaurants where they need to be. Bentley Coop on location, Washington, DC. I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my day, man. Mahalo.